Hi, it's Dan from DV247, and we're going to take a look today at Native Instruments Vintage Compressor uh, series, which are now available um, outside of the Guitarix skin, which is what they needed to, to run in before. Um, so I'd want to take a look at those and show you some of the, the features um, of the compressors in a, in a few videos. Um, we're going to take a look first at the VC160. Um, which is a quite a bold and dirty sounding compressor, uh, which Native Instruments say yeah, is pretty spot on actually. Um, it's based on the DBX 160, uh, and we're going to take a look at it today in the in the context of Complete and one of the instruments that's in Complete, which is Studio Drummer. I think the VC 160 sounds good on a lot of things, but uh, specifically, um, I think for me i like to use it a lot on percussion so we're going to focus on that today we're also going to take a look at the transient designer um just because uh, that's the, also something that's geared towards um percussion and drums um so i've got a basic kit here uh, and i'm going to use one of the library grooves that come with it so to do that you just have to go to the grooves tab here and you'll see you've got uh, your genres on the left uh, your different um tempos and the different grooves here and the folders which they're in so for standard funk groove we're going for the moment a nice eighth beat at about 100 bpm let's just take a quick listen uh, for the purpose of this demo i think that sounds quite good um nice and simple not too busy so you should hear what's actually going on with the compressor and okay so you've got some uh, features down here so we can actually make it quite sloppy and loose like a beginner playing or somewhere in between or uber tight like a drum machine so it doesn't sound very real now but somewhere about there sounds nice and, and loose you can it's a bit swung anyway but you can also affect the swing you can straighten it uber swing it and also you can play with the velocity as well look nice and quiet Quite gentle to full on. I think just a little bit less than where it was. No, where it was. Yeah, absolutely fine. Um, okay, so I've got uh, contact separated uh, in Studio One here onto individual channels, just so we can have a listen to the uh, how the compressor affects each part of the drum kit. Now I've got the five main uh, microphones up here. Uh, we've got a kick drum. snare drum, overhead microphone, room microphone, nice crunchy mid-range there, and we've got a mono overhead as well, again nice and crunchy. Okay, just going to keep those other things just a bit tight for the time being the overhead up maybe in the room down a bit okay so that's a basic mix we're going to go from uh, okay so let's take a listen to the VC160 uh, on kick drum first so it's just loaded up uh, as I say, you don't have to actually load up Guitar Rig anymore, it's its own thing and here you can see um, now what the um, just take it down to zero and what the uh, it's based on as I said the DBX 160 and you had three controls uh, on the DBX 160 uh, which is the threshold uh, the compression ratio which goes uh, from one to one um, which goes all the way up to uh, infinity which is uh, limiting basically uh, and you have an output knob to give you makeup gain for the uh, volume loss that you can incur with compression but you've also got some uh, sweet little added extras on here as well. For example, you've got a sidechain gain. Uh, so when you activate that, it's actually used some, an external signal to trigger the compressor. So you can actually get those pumping sounds uh, for like synthesizers and things. Uh, you've also got a high pass filter uh, which feeds the detector. So as you bring this up, it shows you the frequency. It gives you a high, it sends a high pass signal to the actual uh, detector of the compressor, which means that the bass frequencies uh, won't actually pass through without being compressed. So, which is actually really good for kick drum, which we'll show you in a minute. We'll keep it all the way off for the moment. Uh, you've also got your above and below. Uh, which tells you here when the actual signal is starting to be compressed. So to the right here, look, it's not being compressed at all. As you bring it to the left, 
you can start to see that's where you're starting to get compression uh, pulling maybe like one or two db at the moment so let's pull it all the way down so we can hear how hard it's hitting it so you can hear the transient still coming through which means it's actually quite a slow compressor uh, it's 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 the attack and release times are depending on the actual uh, compression ratio used. So it's a little bit quicker there, even slower down there. So you get a, you know, you can. It, it's 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 a very simple to operate compressor. So let's bring it back to something a bit more normal. And for kick drums, I usually have it around about four, and just tickling the top a bit just to get a bit of punch in there. So again, it's quite knocky now. Bit of makeup gain adding to the sustain there a bit which can actually bring a bit more compression but it starts to choke the bottom end a bit as well so this is where the high uh, pass filter detector comes in a little bit so all the way to the right look no compression whatsoever start to bring it down that would be the high frequencies of the kick drum that are being compressed all the way to the full so we're getting the real bottom end still cutting through there so let's uh, so nice, nice punchy, knocky kick drum we've got there now. Uh, but we've got a little bit of uh, too much sustain going on, I think. Uh, so let's just bring in the transient design, just so we can have a quick listen to what's actually going on. It's the transient master. Um, so let's uh, bring the sustain down a bit. attack maybe listen to it in the context of the mix nice and tight now so it's giving a bit of attitude which is what the uh, which is what the VC160 is very very good for take the transit designer out listen to all the sustain bit too much I think so put it back in again That's actually quite nice, smoothing out the attack. Uh, it gives it more attack, but smooths it out a little bit. Gives it a bit more of a pillowy knock. There we go. Blend that in with the mix a bit. Okay, so that sounds good on kick. I'm really happy with that. Um, and so now we're going to take a quick listen to it on the uh, snare drum. It's good sound, good sounding snare drum. Well recorded. Uh, well done, Native Instruments. There. Let's take a listen to the uh, V1 VC160 and see how we can mess with that a little bit. Obviously now we know the character of the VC160 a little bit, give it a bit of punch. Okay, um, so we've got it level matched now, um, so let's just bring it down so we get, starts to actually... So about five there. And that's making it really punchy, really, really punchy. Let's put the dry signal back in 100%. Makes a bit of dry back in even. That's a beauty of parallel compression. You've got punch and knock here. So let's, let's do it without it. A bit louder. Makes it nice and punchy and knocky. Let's back off the uh, threshold a little bit. There we go, just grabbing the tip there. Brilliant. Um, the VC160 comes with some presets as well, so you can actually see here you've got snare and snare parallel. Um, so I, I'm using a little bit in parallel at the moment, but if we use the snare parallel preset here, you'll see that um, it's on completely dry at the moment. So let's just... Uh, bring the threshold down so we know it's affecting it again and but the compressor is set to uh, limit at the moment so that's my parallel chain I've also got an AB in here so if I can say right that's that's how I that's how I had it in parallel so let's go to compressor B now and let's let's not have it uh, let's have it completely uh, 
dry with a bit less of a so all the signals being compressed here if we go back to A this is in parallel yeah I kind of like the full compression as opposed to the parallel uh, but you know with a bit more tweaking I probably would like the, the um, parallel as well but that's really good Again, quite a bit of ring on this snare, so if we can tighten it up a little bit. Let's have a listen to it in the mix, context of the mix a bit first, though. Really brought it forward in the mix in volume as well, as Brought a lot more power to the snare drum there, as you can see. Yeah, nice. Let's bring in the Transient Master again. Tighten it up a little bit, a bit more tack. If it needs to cut through a mix a bit more, that's how I'd set that. I think it's nice where it is. A bit snappy in attack, maybe. It's helping that cut through a bit more. Bring it a bit lower in volume. So let's have a listen there. bit too brutal on the attack there. Nice, so that's no VC and no transient master. Nice sound but not a nearly as snappy. Excellent. Uh, and the last thing I wanted to show you was using it uh, on the a room microphone or an overhead microphone uh, in absolute smash mode um, just to give you a bit more aggression if you want to add a lot more uh, aggression into the overall sound of the drum kit. One thing I will just show you quickly as well on the studio drummer here and actually we've, we've been playing this groove from the player, from the grooves player. If I actually want to commit to that groove now all I actually have to do is just drag it uh, onto my timeline here and there's the MIDI. Stop playing it from the mixer there. Close this down. And we're committed now. Excellent. And that's a fully editable MIDI file as well. Look. Brilliant. Okay. And so, yeah, so on the mono overhead uh, microphone here, we've got. I want to kind of add some. Uh, heavy aggression to that microphone so we're going to use the VC160 here down here and just show you how dirty it can really get so it's all buttons in as they say um, I'm going to put the threshold all the way up to infinity you can hear it really choked down on the transient in there let's a little bit of it through to make it snappy but then the rest of the signal pumps out. Chokes it a bit too much there. There's a fills in the sustain a bit from there. There's no bottom end to worry about using the uh, high pass filter. But I like that a lot. Too much there. Not enough there. Nice. Okay, so let's uh, take that down. And I think you can guess what's going to happen here. Sounds almost like a um, pre delayed reverb. See, we thought it wasn't enough compression before. Actually, actually doesn't fit with the track until we bring it up to about here. Still loads and loads of compression. Nice. Bit more sustain there. Okay, so that's the VC160 uh, compressor by Native Instruments as well as the Transient Master. Just taking a quick look, um, it 
works on all sorts of things. Uh, why, the reason I like it on percussion and drums specifically is because of its kind of grimy, gritty, punchy kind of nature. But try it out on other things um, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, thanks for watching.